while. <laughs> um, besides PTSD, I have uh, agoraphobia and major depression. and uh, So being out in public, uh, well, being, it's been a long time. Uh, being in front of all of you in a room this big, I probably haven't done anything like this since I was in the Navy and I got out in 1990. So, uh, but I wanted to take a minute and tell you what Cinder meant to me and uh, what I thought I was getting and what I ended up getting. So I got the call from Support Dogs that they had a dog for me and I was to go in on February 4th for the two week training. And I thought, oh, I'm getting a dog. That's wonderful. And I went in and I met my dog the first day, Nadine introduced us. Uh, and I'd like to say, I, I, I truly do believe that Nadine has a gift from God in pairing dogs with uh, their handlers. Because <laughs> I don't want no trouble. <laughs> so I showed up at support dogs to get a dog, and what I received was a transformational experience. Uh, everyone I met at support dogs, uh, they had a look in their eye, uh, a little twinkle, uh, and I always felt like their unspoken words were. You'll see. You'll see. And so we started on Monday. Wednesday, we took our dogs home. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday morning, I got up with Cinder, and I went in to take a shower, which should be a normal, everyday thing. But for me, because of my PTSD, I uh, would have to do all these elaborate things, put trash cans in front of the door or so. If anybody opened it, I could hear it. Then I get in the shower and I keep peeking out the shower curtain and I live alone so <laughs> and I have an alarm on my house but you know so I put Cinder in a down in front of the shower and I got in the shower and I didn't have to put any thing in front of the door I didn't have to peek out the shower door as a matter of fact uh, I was halfway through my shower and realized I was smiling and enjoying a hot shower for the first time in I don't know how many years. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, then we, you know, got dressed because that's appropriate when you're going out. And uh, I took Cinder uh, for a walk around the block. And I haven't walked around the block of my house for two, three years. Uh, I have. A, I went to the Target store on our team training. I probably haven't been to a Target store in seven years. I, uh, if it can be delivered to my house, it does. Groceries, whatever. So I just have a hard time leaving. But with Cinder, I, and you know, I would really like to tell you a word that would describe it. But there is no word. It's a, a sense of well-being that I get with her that calms my hypervigilance. And you just, I can't explain to you, I guess, the best way to explain it is when I go, if I go to the grocery store, uh, you know, I make plans for disasters to happen. And with Cinder, I make plans for how I'm going to get Cinder in and out of the car. And in the Navy, or in, in, in the military in general, if you're a junior officer, say a lieutenant, uh, you have a higher rank than, say, your senior staff sergeant or gunnery sergeant. But the gunnery sergeant and the staff sergeant knows you outrank them but you know enough to trust their instincts because they know what they're doing. And so I may be the lieutenant 
and in higher rank, but she's the one I trust because she has the instincts. She sleeps with me. We have a sleep number bed, and she seems to like the firmest number. <laughs> We're staying at the hotel tonight. Or last night we stayed, and I had her get up on the bed with me, and she walked around three, four times. She was just like, this is not our bed. I don't know. <laughs> but, and uh, I really wanted to thank support dogs. Uh, been a very di difficult journey for me, and uh, but I mean, look at me. I'm here. <laughs> and you people made it possible, and I, I really don't know how I could thank you all, but I will make this promise to you. I will do everything I can to spread the word about support dogs and the transformational experience it can have for other veterans and other disabled citizens. So thank you.